this gives us the definition for the degree of curvature on the arc basis. All right, degree of curvature on the arc basis. Guys, this is the central angle subtended by an arc of 100 feet. All right, so the central angle, D, for a given curve that subtends an arc. Now, this is not no longer a chord. It's an actual arc, part of the circle, all right, which is 100 feet, all right? So the angle that subtends an arc of 100 feet is defined as the degree of curvature for the curve. Matthew, uh, uh, um, I'm not following what you're saying. OK, uh, here on page 18, it just gives you the relationship between the degree of curvature and the radius for a given curve. But what I'd like to do next is to uh, start talking about uh, actual problems. And, and here, I want all of you to please On, on this uh, slide, uh, we talk about an actual problem. So the, uh, let, I want everybody to, to participate in this and solve this along with me, all right? Uh, Matthew, I think uh, if you, uh, if you uh, go through some of the example problems that we do, I think what you're asking will become clear to you. Um, the 100 foot has nothing to do with the um, long cord. All right. Um, the, the word cord that I used has nothing to do with the long cord. It's simply a, a cord on the curve that happens to be 100 feet. All right. Uh, let's look at the, this problem, and I need for everybody to participate. This, this and the other problems that I'm using in this presentation are very typical kinds of problems that you're going to see in the, in the morning exam, all right? Um, the bearings of two tangents connected by a horizontal circle, uh, circle are north north 50 degrees east, all right? Now, what does that mean? Does everybody remember the, the bearing of a line? Here we're talking about a line a tangent line that has a bearing of north 50 degrees east. That's the back tangent. And the forward tangent has a bearing of south 35 degrees east. The tangent intersects at um, station 37 plus 00, zero and the curve has a radius of 800 feet. Guys, the concept of bearing is very, very important. And what I'm going to do is, is uh, go through uh, this problem, uh, use this problem to demonstrate to you what bearing means. Um, certainly, you need to know what that means for a problem, for this problem. And then um, uh, there have been questions dealing with bearings of lines um, just on their own, not necessarily related to a curve. So you need to know what that means and how to create it. But here we have combined the concept of bearing and, and horizontal circles. All right? Um, 
So in this case, uh, the curve radius is 800 feet. The curve radius is 800 feet. So uh, also make a note of that. Uh, by the way, I have to tell you, in uh, these horizontal curve problems, the surveyor, when, when she designs a uh, circular curve, more than likely, usually, the design parameter is either the radius or the degree of curvature, D. So, so the surveyor designs a curve based on uh, what she decides the radius should be or the degree of curvature. And all these other parameters that we've talked about, uh, they are calculated based on uh, the assumed uh, radius or the assumed uh, degree of curvature. All right. Now let's get back to this problem. Guys, the concept of bearing, and I need for everybody to please pay attention. What what does a uh, guys? Did you hear that uh, that command, that voice that came on? No, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Then then there's no problem. I did. Somebody said something to me, said the wrong command, and uh, I guess that was just uh, directed to me. So, um, all right. So we have uh, this, uh, the concept of bearing. This is what I need for you to do. What does a line that has a bearing of north 50 degrees east look like? I want you to go exactly through these, these steps that I'm going to outline next. All right? Look at the bottom left of the slide. The first thing that you do, you draw these directions, north, south, east, west. All right? Just identify that coordinate system. Then look at the bearing. In this case, it says north 50 degrees east. N stands for north. So here's what you do. Do north. You go exactly 50 degrees, in this case, towards east. Why towards east? Because it says north 50 degrees east. So the second letter tells you which direction to rotate. So there it is. So the bearing angle is 50 degrees, and it goes from north to east. And then once you do that, then, then, then create the line. Does everybody follow? All right? So this is basically the line with the bearing of north 50 degrees east. These bearing angles are always between 0 and 90. In other words, they will always be in the same quadrant. All right? Now, Tell me something, guys. Let's see if you can help me create the second line. The second line, or the, the forward tangent, um, has a bearing of, look at top right, south 35 degrees east. So this is what we do. Let's, uh, let's go to the next slide. Now create the, the coordinates here, north, south, east, west. At the end of the back tangent, which would be the beginning of the forward tangent. And then what do we do there? Well, take a look at the bearing angle, south 35 degrees east. Absolutely, you got it. You start from the first letter is south. So south, you travel 35 degrees towards, in this case, east. So the second tangent. has this orientation right here, as you can see. All right? That's all you need to know about bearing, bearings of different lines. Please learn this if you, if you don't know how to do it. It's, it's very easy. But uh, something like this will be on the test, the concept of bearing. All right? Now, then we can. 
uh, use these different angles and uh, come up with some relationships. What else do we know about this problem? This problem tells us, let's take a look at the known values. They say the tangents intersect at station 37 plus 00. zero. Now, the point where the tangents intersect, what did I tell you it's called? You're correct, PI, which stands for the point of intersection. Point of intersection. All right? Uh, what this says is that point of intersection has a station 37 plus 00. zero. The concept of, concept of inter, uh, station is very important. What that means is the location of the point from where the surveyor began his survey. All right? So there is a station that's called 0 plus 0. That's also called the point of beginning. P-O-B, point of beginning, which is the station 0 plus 0. And then to keep track of different points along the survey line, we establish these stations. And in many, many cases, generally, we define the stations in 100-foot segments. So here we go. If we say the station of the PI is 37 plus 00, zero. that means there are 37 100 foot segments. So this point PI is 3700 feet in terms of feet, 3700 feet from the point of beginning. All right? Um, then we have um, the curve is 800 feet. So uh, here is uh, the kind of problems that you will get. Uh, the information that was given to you, that's known. And then they ask you these different questions. So what is the length of the curve? So tell me, what do you do? Absolutely. You go to page 15. That's where the, I gave you a menu for the equations that are available. Do it now. Go to that page, page 15, please. And find the curve or, or the equation that gives you the length of the curve. Remember I told you, make sure you don't make a mistake. L, you want the equation that has L, all right? That's the length of the curve. So make some substitution and tell me what you come up with for the length of the curve. Well, let me show you the equation. The equation is this here. I'm looking at slide 25. All right. So on, pay, uh, on slide 25, you take a look at it. The equation that you, you picked should be L is equal to 100I over D. All right. Now, I is the intersection angle. And what's D? D is the degree of curvature. Where are we given those? Where are we given? the value of I or D? No. But we were given enough information to calculate those values. I'm going back to page 24. And please, I want everybody to pay attention. Since the radius was given, then I can use that relationship here to come up with the degree of curvature. I need the degree of curvature because it shows up in the equation for the length of the curve. All right? Now, if you do this correctly, D comes out to be 7.162 degrees. That's the degree of curvature. Now, a common uh, question here is, how come I'm using the, degree, uh, the equation? How come I'm using the equation for the degree of curvature on the, the arc basis? Well, uh, unless they specify to use the chord basis, always, always use the arc basis. All right? So we calculate the degree of curvature. And one other thing we need to, to know is the intersection angle. And uh, the intersection angle here, you can simply 